Steve Davis, and thank you so much for joining us. This is the Sheldon Online Music Academy, and again, we're recording in the, in the absolutely beautiful Sheldon Hall, and I hope you're enjoying everything so far. Uh, the last segment we're doing today is called Internalizing a Tune. I know it sounds very highfalutin. It's much simpler than that. And again, the, the most difficult thing I have to do when I go out and do clinics is find a tune that everybody knows. That's the most difficult thing. So I'm going to pick a tune right now. Yes, you guessed it. It's going to be Mary Had a Little Lamb, but with a swing feel. That way we all know that. Don't think about singing this tune with lyrics. Forget that. But everything that you're going to learn right now on this tune, you could play confirmation. You could work on Yardbird Suite. You could work on any number of jazz tunes or bebop tunes, standard songs. These principles apply, anything we've talked about, these principles apply to any tune. So again, I'm going to use Mary Had a Little Lamb simply because everybody knows it. So let's imagine this. I'll sing the tune first with the swing feel. One, the two, ah, the two, three, four. Ba ba do do be da, be da, be da. Ba ba do be be da, ba ba do be do be do ba. So simple. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add a ride symbol pattern to that for right now, and I'm going to do something we did earlier, which is I'll play. What I think is the most important part of the melody in the left hand, not all of it, but part of it. One, a two, a, a two. <laughs> This is on the snare drum, then the bass drum, then the snare drum playing the melody with the bass drum playing in the holes of the melody. That sounds like this. Again, very simple to do, but an incredibly effective way of practicing. Now, lastly, the thing that we haven't talked about was really how to solo on a tune. Most of the time, you start to play a drum solo, and the first thing that happens is you say, well, what do I play? Here's something so simple. Let's play the melody on the snare drum. One, two, hi-hat on the two, four. Two, three, four. Again, it could be an incredibly complicated melody. It's a great way to learn and, I'll use that word again, internalize the melody. Let's take it a step further. You want to spend $38 buying this guy's bass drum book, or just practice it on the bass drum. How about that? One, two, the melody on the bass drum, two, ready, and... Then you can start dividing this up around the tune, around the drums. The tune divided all over the place, as they say. I'll start a little simple so you can hear the melody. Then I won't exactly play the melody verbatim, but I'll move through the melody a little bit. You'll hear rhythms still playing to the, what I consider to be the most important parts of that song, that make that song that song. Here we go. One, two, ah, the two, three, four. Pattern. 